Hey gang, Luke Austin from your midday show here on Big Frog 104 with a little fantasy football advice. Now, I've been playing fantasy for about 15 years, so I know that uh, any advice I give you could be hit or miss, and that's pretty much what you're going to get from anybody with fantasy football advice. But uh, what I figure is, I'll give you a couple of my favorite stardom and sit -ems. and since Miami and Tampa Bay game was postponed this week, a lot of people out there might be scrambling for some picks. So uh, we'll start off with that. Obviously, you're going to end up benching Jameis Winston and Jay Cutler. Uh, some replacement options to look for that uh, might still be on the waiver wires. Sam Bradford, Minnesota Vikings. He's got a couple of weapons up there. He could get you through one week. Carson Palmer, same thing, could get you through a week. Uh, Carson Wentz from the Eagles, same thing. I actually have to play him in one of my uh, one of my leagues because I had Jay Cutler, and of course Miami isn't playing. So moving on to uh, the running backs, Quiz Rogers, Charles Sims from the Bucks, Jay Ajayi from the Dolphins. They obviously aren't playing. So a couple of guys you could look for. Um, Wendell Smallwood, deep, deep running back on the Philadelphia Eagles bench. But uh, if everybody else is already picked up, he might score you a couple of points. And then uh, Shane Vereen from the New York Giants as well. They're playing the Cowboys Sunday night. They use a few running backs in their game. And Vereen, obviously, uh, if you're in a PPR league, he'll uh, pick up a few catches for you. Alfred Morris from the Dallas Cowboys as well. They're going to be running with, uh, I think, a two running back scheme with Darren McFadden and Morris and actually uh, Zeke Elliott is playing this week but I do expect Alfred Morris to maybe snag a couple goal line touchdowns so that's possible if you're hung up there's a couple of guys uh, some wide receivers obviously from the Bucks Mike Evans Deshaun Jackson aren't playing from the Dolphins Devontae Parker Jarvis Landry Kenny Stills aren't playing so uh, some deeper guys to look for Torrey Smith from the Philadelphia Eagles if he's out there he's a decent pick uh, week one Carson Wentz you never know what he's going to do but uh, Torrey Smith is a pretty solid receiver, has been over his years. Uh, Bruce Ellington, another deep receiver on the Houston Texans. Teddy Ginn from the New Orleans Saints. He's got some hands, and Drew Brees loves to throw the ball around. So if those guys are out there, you can grab a couple of those. Uh, tight ends, there's not really much. Cameron Brayton, and Julius Thomas from the Bucks and Dolphins, obviously not playing. Uh, Jesse James from the Steelers is a viable option. Uh, I have a really, really deep league that he was still available on, so you could grab him. And uh, Evan Ingram, the New York Giants uh, backup tight end, or Jason Witten from the Cowboys, too. I know both of those are out there. They usually uh, snag a few catches, and Witten usually ends up scoring a touchdown against the Giants just about every year. So those are a couple of options. And then uh, moving on to some stardoms and sit -ems. If you're uh, in a deeper league, you're looking for a guy, you're not sure what's going on, uh, Martavius Bryant is a great pick. He's a heck of a talent, and he's finally not suspended for a year. He's uh, He's got like his own gravitational pull, people are saying. So any ball that goes near him, he's going to catch. That's going to be a great option. Uh, you know the Steelers are going to have an awesome offense with Antonio Brown, and Le'Veon Bell, and Martavius Bryant, that third option. Can't cover everybody. So that's a good pickup. Uh, if you're looking for a good running back, especially in PPR leagues, Danny Woodhead from uh, the Baltimore Ravens this year. They're taking on the Bengals week one. Cincinnati's without their star middle linebacker, Vontez Perfect. And last year, Cincinnati gave up uh, almost six catches a game to running back. So there's a good one. Michael Crabtree, receiver uh, for the Oakland Raiders versus the Titans. Not a bad option as well. He has been the number one fantasy receiver, fantasy receiver in Oakland for the last two years. So if uh, he's out there, you need a receiver to play, or maybe you're trying to choose between who to play, I'd say go with Crabtree there. And uh, as far as sits go, you're going to want to sit all your Colts, I believe, and at least until Andrew Luck gets back, and probably for the next several years until they get an offensive line. But sit Frank Gore uh, versus a pretty good Rams front seven. Um, and, of course, Indy has no quarterback. And then continuing on that, the rest of your Colts. I mean, um, T.Y. Hilton and uh, the other one. I can't remember his name right now, but you know who I'm talking about. You're going to want to sit your Colts this week, probably all season. I hope you don't have Colts on your team. Let's just say it that way. But if you do, T.Y. Hilton was a high draft pick. You're probably going to have to play him. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'm saying my big ones this week, Martavius Bryant, definitely Michael Crabtree versus the Titans. Good luck in your fantasy this week. I'll talk to you again next Friday for uh, some more fantasy football advice.